In 2017, a plastic crack collector was sent to his basement for an argument he didn't win. This man promptly started playing with his toys while underground. Today, still hiding from the real world, he survives as a YouTube toy reviewer. Did he have a problem? If no one else could help. And if you could find his channel. Well, you'll still have your problems. But at least you can watch. Soundwave 88. Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here. I didn't do any more of that theme humming because I don't know what copyright strikes may land with that. So, today's review, I'm going to be a little bit different. I'm going to look at some die-cast uh, cars here. I'm going to look at Greenlight Hollywood's A-Team vehicle. This is the van based from the A-Team. It's a 1983 GMC Vandera. So, packaging has got the A-Team written all over, of course. And back here has A-Team, and it tells you a little more face. And it has a quote from each character. It's the singer, not the song. Hannibal, I love it when a plan comes together. Murdoch, I'm nuts. That's why I'm so good. And B.A., I ain't going on no play. That was just hilarious. I loved it when uh, there was a twisted toy fair. They will always make a little fun of that. Uh, so, flying. T ain't flying. Um, and then we have more on this side. Top and bottom of the box. Now we know Jada Toys makes a lot of stuff. This one here though is done by Greenlight Collectibles, and they have a lot of ones. I also got a little uh, Fall Guy uh, truck and stuff. So if you can't find it from Jada Hot Wheels or something, check out Greenlight Hollywood because they might be doing a vehicle based on the movie or TV series that you're looking for. Now this is 124 scale, and we're going to open this up and we're going to compare with some of the other diecast cars, and of course let's take a look at the vehicle itself. Now, unlike Jada Toys, which is screwed in and everything, and like a, a cardboard air stuff, Greenlight puts theirs apparently into just a plastic shell, and you just have some tape here. You just got to sort of remove, and you just pull the car out. So it's a lot easier to remove the vehicle from Greenlight's packaging. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and here is the actual van. It is very, very sweet. The only thing I'm finding I don't like is that some of the lights are crooked on my copy. Like, they just look a little wonky. Like, this one's crooked. And it's like, you know, that that bugs me uh, somewhat. And I do have a little scratch in the paint right here. And that kind of, you know, that bothers me a little bit. But it, it's not that noticeable. And, you know, I didn't notice until I got it out of the package into the light. At certain angles, you don't even see it at all. Now, it is a fingerprint magnet with all the uh, black right here. You, you will leave your fingerprints and smudges. So, just make sure if you want to keep looking pristine, you just want to keep wiping it down you know, with a microfiber cloth or something. Just get those fingerprints right off of there. And always keep you a can of that little spray stuff to keep the dust out of the vehicle as well. Now, overall, the vehicle is pretty hefty. Like I said, it is die cast. It is metal. Underneath this plastic does have rubber tires. And it does roll extremely well, as you can see. It is nice and hefty. I like it a lot. Now, it is very detailed to the actual uh, vehicle from the show. Now, sometimes you see it's not as bright silver here. It's like a more of a dull gray. But we'll just do a quick comparison here with this and the steel from the TV series. So you can, you can see the comparisons there. And it is very close. One thing I kind of wish they did with this, though, is give you, like, some mini uh, die-cast figures with it. That's what I think Jada Toys does with some of their stuff. You know, they release Batmobiles with Batman. Or some even have Robin sitting in it. Uh, I kind of wish they had done that with this. Get, who would, wouldn't want a little Mr. T sitting in that driver's seat? Seriously. Um, now, looking at it, it has the red rims right here. Uh, hubcaps and stuff. So you can see all that. That is really nice. The paint is applied very well. A translucent uh, plastic for the headlights. Looks really good. Even has the show accurate uh, license plate number right there. Uh, GMC has done really well. Uh, front doors do open. And you can see inside is sort of detailed in there. You can see everything in there. As much as I can try to get you to the back. You can kind of see into the back. This door doesn't shut as good. So I got to kind of lower it down. It's got like the sunroof up top. Open this door here. And you can see into the passenger side. And try to see if I can get more into the angle back. Can't really see in there very well. Uh, one thing I wish they had done, if they could have made this door slide, because there'd be a lot of mechanics, I wish they could have made the back doors open 
have been something I would have really liked. And you could stuck like, you know, some little mini figures in there. That would have been cool. So, otherwise, it is a very nice uh, van. Ooh, I didn't notice that until now. I got a big scratch going across the top of my van right there. So, that that's disappointing. Oh, well. It's still a really, really nice look. It's got a license plate here in the back as well with the tail lights and everything. It looks really good. I do like these uh, die-cast vehicles and stuff from movies and tv shows of past i'll put it right here next to this is jada toys this is their uh kit from knight rider so you can see these two together how they uh compare and everything uh kit is a lot longer than the 18 van as you can see the 18 van kind of starts here and ends uh, right here so kit is a lot bigger so they really i don't know if that's the actual real world scale there i don't think so but you know they still front looking at them together in the front Really cool together, and with Kit, of course, you get this little effect going, which is awesome. I'm saying, they, just, they put some kind of other stuff into their vehicle sometimes. I kind of wish they did, like, a little Mr. T, a little BA sitting in that driver's seat would have been awesome. So, I would definitely recommend this vehicle. If you're into any kind of die-cast vehicles and stuff based off, you know, retro or vintage uh, vehicles or TV shows, movies, A-Team is a definite pickup for that that's one thing i guess about being older and becoming an adult is that you can now go back and try to relive your childhood because now you have a job you have money you can buy almost what you want within reason based on your money and then you can sort of try to relive those childhood years that you never really wanted to grow out of that's the whole point of being an adult i guess want to be a kid again so I will have a link. I do have a link down below. I have an Amazon uh, storefront. And I do have a die cast car section. I will have this listed in there. So if you want to pick this up, it should be in there. It just depends if it's in stock on Amazon or not. I don't set these prices. I'm just an affiliate. So if you buy something through that link, it does help support the channel. as why well. I make a small little percentage of that sale. And uh, I will have it linked in there. Unless you just want to go there and just... You know, just type it in and search it yourself. <laughs> but I'm just saying that it is down there and that will help support the channel. So this is the A-Team 1983 GMC uh, Vandura. It is a very nice vehicle. I really, really love it. And it's going to look really good on my uh, you know, movie and TV show die-cast car shelves. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick review. Until the next ones. Peace out. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 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 <laughs>